Nikki Haley's reluctance to say slavery was the cause of the Civil War during New Hampshire town. Hall this week proves to be a gaffe she can't escape in state where she may not be underperforming. Haley's comments came after a voter asked what she thought was the cause of the Civil War during an event in Berlin. Her answer specifically did not mention, freedom, which is ability to own slaves. Which is at the heart of issue. In more than 48 hours since then, Haley has attempted to push back comment next day on Good Morning New Hampshire, saying the Civil War was, of course, about slavery. But she also continued to focus her responses what caused civil war. The question about things like individual freedom and economic freedom as key factors in what is happening. She also made an evidence-free claim that person asking the question was a plant sent by Democrats. We're on day three and he's still trying to get through this, said New Hampshire-based Republican operative Matthew Bartlett. I am not sure litigating the Civil War is the most important issue for New Hampshire voters. But when you make a mistake you have to get over it. His answer had to be short. Simple and patriotic, he added. Instead he tries to be philosophical and talk about the lessons of economics and capitalism. Like. Stop. Further complicating the issue is the situation in which this particular error was made. New Hampshire is big part of Haley's early state strategy. A place seen as uniquely suited to lend her support and officially turn the race into two-person. Contest with former President Donald Trump. Surveys. It's state where Haley has spent most of her time and resources. And it's been nearly a month since the state's first primary in nation. He received the endorsement of New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu. His support which Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is eagerly seeking, is rising in most polls. A recent CBS News YouGov poll shows Haley with 29% of vote and likely GOP voters. That number shows him closing gap on Trump, who leads most public polls, with 44% of vote in most recent New Hampshire poll. Everyone from Joe Biden to Donald Trump is attacking Nikki for one reason she is the only candidate with momentum, a Haley spokesperson said. Nikki has been talking to every voter and answering every question for months. And the excitement around her is growing. Real. The dynamics of the New Hampshire primary are also unique compared to other primary states in a way that can cause ripple effects from civil war interpretations. New Hampshire allows unaffiliated voters to participate in any party primary, giving significant influence to the generally more moderate segment of the state's electorate. According to Independent Voter Project, there are approximately 400,000 independent voters in New Hampshire. This accounts for nearly 40 of the total number of voters in state. Hella Ross, an undeclared voter who is inclined to vote for Haley,